my ability to know that I can work and push myself and get results from that comes from my music. Nobody picks up a cello or a violin and can make a nice sound. But you see that that day in, day out practice, the setting of goals, the breaking up of problems into smaller steps means you can go from making those ghastly squeaks to playing a concerto. Science is the same. The spark that set my course was realising that science was at heart creative because really good science is about asking good questions. Maths is the language of the universe. But it wasn't until I guess I got fired by some of the really big questions in physics that I saw the purpose of maths. So I think we need to encourage kids to think what are the problems they want to solve? And if some of those problems involve science, then strongly encourage them to study those subjects so that they can actually be part of solving the problems. I'm very much a pragmatist that likes to have a very clear vision. And what is a vision? Somebody's vision can be somebody else's dream. But I love to operate by saying, what could be? Where are we trying to go? Because there's nothing that energises me more than seeing the big goal, the big prize that you're shooting for. And there's nothing that inspires others to come with you than a really clearly articulated, we could do this, imagine if, imagine if. You always doubt yourself in science because to do science well, you're always questioning everything you do. Blind confidence gets you far in many walks of life, but at the heart of science is that ability to really question. So I think to be a good scientist, you have to always doubt yourself. And I always have doubted myself, and I think that's human. I just think that sometimes girls don't realise that sometimes there's a gendered confidence piece there. And I think the best way to overcome that is to have people around you who've either been there and can say, I felt just like that, or have mentors who can see what you've got in you that can help guide you. So I think the more supports we can put around young, driven, capable, ambitious women, tell them it's okay to be ambitious. It's not a rude word. <laughs>